Welcome to Document and Content Management, Module 9, Section 2. My name is Pat Cupoli. I'm the Certificate Mentor at Edmonds Community College, PACE at IT, Data Management Program. In Section 2, you will recognize the life cycle components of content management, identify requirements for unstructured data, recognize the roles and types of enterprise taxonomies used for content management, identify organizational approaches for content access and retrieval, and identify how data governance principles apply to content management. We will go over primary activities, areas of study, and primary takeaways. Primary activities as described in the Dame and Dienbach include the following. Define and maintain enterprise taxonomies, document and index information content metadata, provide content access and retrieval, and govern for quality content. Areas of study where you should be able to answer questions at the end of the module include the following. What is enterprise taxonomy? How is information content metadata documented? How should content access and retrieval be provided? How should content be governed? Primary takeaways include the following. Content management refers to the processes, techniques, and technologies for organizing, categorizing, and structuring access to information content, resulting in an effective retrieval and reuse. A content management system is used to collect, organize, index, and retrieve information content, storing the content either as components or whole documents, while maintaining links between the components. Taxonomy is the science or technique of classification. It contains controlled vocabulary that can help with navigation and search systems. There are four types, flat, facet, hierarchical, and network. Ontology is a type of model that represents a set of concepts and their relationships within a domain.